Hi, welcome, I'm Impact Frames, and in this video we're gonna take a look at Muse V and Muse Talk, and this is the result of what you can get with it. Congratulations. Congratulations. You made it. We all knew it was going to be you. It was always meant for you. So I think it's quite great. You can see like the quality is very nice and here I made one workflow which is a Muse V. Actually this one comes in the repo so you can just open the repo and it will be there and the idea is that you make one video first and then you pass it into into the other workflow which is muse talk to make it talk but now um, in the previous workflow if you notice i went ahead and i did 512 by 512 and i cropped it in the top center and this one is another test to make it sure that it will work because at first it, it cropped it like this but you can see like if you have more uh, state here in the image the, the quality is better so imagine that you can do like four, four crops uh, and you have a hyper better quality that you can just merge the four videos into one and you can see here that it's using the Magic Mix Real 6F so meaning that you can use like uh, different modes from 1.5 and the head wobbling and the eye blinking is because of the prompt you have a prompt there that you can drive the, the video with the prompt or you can have the other workflow that drives the video with another video so first you prepare the video and then you prepare the video that goes into the talking one. So there is another repo that you can install that it will make the limp syncing and stuff. And finally, I go ahead into this uh, clip chimp or clip champ. I put everything together. So I go back to editing here and you can see that I bring my image and my video and the audio, so I put it together here in Clipchamp. Another thing is like the length of the video is gonna be this, uh, I think when you open it, it's like 5,000. So if you want 12 seconds, it will be 12,000. And that's how you put the whole video. So it's synchronized here, like you can see it again. Congratulations. You made it. We all knew it was going to be you. It was always meant for you. And to install this is super easy. You can just go into your manager, install custom notes. By the way, you can install if AI also, which is my note for making prompts and stuff. And if AI has um, this note, let me just come and show you. If AI has this note to download the stuff from the hugging face, so can, you can just uh, write, you can just copy this and um, and go into a workflow, paste it here, paste the place where you want to download. For this, you need to create a folder uh, that you can put it in, in a new folder and later you can just rename it to this. And then just click in the whole repo. If it asks you for, you have to check into your logs. And if in the logs you see there is an error, it's because you need to have a hugging face token here that you can copy it. And by the way, if you save this later, don't don't save it with your token because otherwise people will steal your um, your tokens from the internet. So this one is meant just for one use only, so delete it afterwards. Um, yeah, delete your token just in case. And to get the notes itself, you can just go into the manager, install custom notes, and in here just press Muse or Muse, and then you have this two by Chayoji, and you download those, install them, everything will be installed by itself, and then later you just have to move into your ConfiUI custom nodes, the ConfiUI Muse talk, and in here you're just gonna uh, paste this command, pip install uh, these packages that are extra. The other ones, the requirements will be taken care of by the manager. If you have the ConfiUI manager, it's this uh, thing. I'm gonna leave it on the description. The manager is like the most helpful thing in ConfiUI because it allows you to install things quicker. As I said, as I'm saying, this is this node that has 
uh, to install all the things. You can also install those packages, those extra packages, by putting those names, by coming in here and pasting these names, for example. Maybe you need this one. And you can go back into this and in here in the pick packages, you can just paste that, say OK, and it will install everything one by one. But it's easier to just do it like in the config UI, like I said. And the other thing for the Musebee, and I, I will say that to install the models, uh, start with this script. You copy this script and just run it into your into your uh, CLI to your command line and just put it in here. After you paste, it will download to this directory and everything else. Then you can download to that directory afterwards after you have all these models. This will take a long time because it's like 20 gig because it's downloading these uh, custom models and stuff that it needs and stuff. This one is quite intensive on the graphic card and it's taking the whole VRAM 24 gig and also the, the computer goes like very hot. And I'm going to show you in another video how to install, uh, how to run this in a, in a cloud instance so it will be easier for you to run it if you don't have the graphic card. But uh, I was going to make that video now, but they are having like some inconvenience uh, right now. Um, so sorry, I could not show you because I tried like three times uh, to run this in the in the cloud. But sometimes they have like issues and stuff and yeah, they have an issue right now, so I cannot do it. But in the next video, I will try to show you how to set up your cloud instance to work with Comfy UI. And so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Let me just put this thing back again. And congratulations. If you think you made it. We all knew it was going to be you. It was always meant for you. Well, see you in the next one and thank you for watching. Bye bye.